Hey guys, so today I'm just going to be filming a chit chat, get ready with me, answering some of your questions, you know, giving you life updates, everything like that. I've been talking about wanting to do like a lighter fall makeup look and that's what I'm going to do in this video. Just going to talk to you, do a lighter fall look, a bold lip, because I've done so many dramatic fall makeup looks. Okay, not so many. I've done three. But I've done more fall dramatic looks than I have natural, so I'm just going to get comfy. We're just going to get ready. Um, I do have a flight to catch here in a little bit, so I'm going to be going on the plane like this, so very excited. So anyways, if you guys want to kind of catch up with me, get ready together, and have me answer some of your questions, then let's just go ahead and get started. This thumb didn't know where to go, but we're going to get started. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to change it up from what I normally do. Um, when I do more of a lighter look, I do my base makeup first, so that's what we're going to start off with. I'm just going to prime with the Smashbox Photo Finish Water Primer. But I'm also going to try this new Hard Candy Sheer Envy Mattifying Pore Primer Stick. And it says it instantly blurs pores, it's mattifying, and I just want to test this out. I purchased it a few weeks ago, so I think it's about time to try it. So how have you guys been doing? You've been good? I filmed a video yesterday, which you guys will see very soon. It was more of a dramatic fall makeup look. I've been so busy lately. I haven't been putting out three videos a week just because if you follow me on social media, you know. But I am starting my own online boutique. This baby is starting from the ground. And we were working her up. It is a lot of work <laughs> to start um, your own business. Honestly, it has been so much fun. And I'm just so excited to get it started. We're actually having a launch party this Saturday, the 14th, in Carrollton, which is so exciting. And we're going to have some pieces there. People can buy, like, exclusive items. We have so many cute things. I had to, like, resist and not take anything because everything is so cute that's going to be at the party. But, yeah, I'm starting my own online boutique. So if you don't follow me on social media, you wouldn't know that. But I'm very excited. I've talked about this and wanting my own dog line, which hopefully will happen soon. And a lot of you were so supportive on Instagram. So thank you so much. If you left a sweet comment, we're not shipping international off the first go round just because because, you know, I feel like we kind of need to get a feel for everything. But we will be shipping international very, very soon. I promise you. This it has been a journey trying to learn the process and get things trademarked and get all the attorneys together. And just it's been an ordeal. So that's what I've been up to. If you're wondering, like, where the heck is Casey at? She's never Snapchatting anymore. She's never on YouTube. I'm trying to at least do two videos a week. If anything, one. Not like me. Normally I do the three videos a week. I promise you, once I get this all under control... We will be back to normal and we'll be doing good. I'm going to just use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation today. Just really wanting to use it again. It's been a while since I've used this product. So I know I told you guys in a previous video, I think it was my fall drugstore makeup video, that I had another L'Oreal sponge that I had just purchased and it was different, which it was different, okay? This one I had in my product refills drawer and I was like, oh, I got to see if that one's the same. This is the exact same. This is the blender that I loved from L'Oreal. Like when I started using this, this was the blender. It's just perfect. But the other blender I use, like I swear they changed it because it's just not the same. It's not like this. Luckily, I found an old one that I purchased because when I find something I like, I normally purchase quite a few of them and then just keep it in my product refills drawer. So that way, you know, I have backups, but... <laughs> I'm super happy I found this because it's one of my favorite sponges from the drugstore, but I swear they've changed like the new sponge. It's not the same. It's just not. So yeah, that's kind of what I've been up to. Um, not too much other than that going on. I do have another collab in the works for you guys. I think you're really going to like it. So that's really exciting as well. It's just been a really crazy year. So thankful and blessed. I'm so, I don't know, I'm so grateful for you guys because you are so supportive and I don't know, man, it's just been, it's been a wild freaking year. Wild year. It, it's just crazy. I can't even describe to you and I'm really thankful and I'm excited for the future and honestly, I'm just trying to like plan ahead. You know what I mean? I've always wanted to have more businesses. I mean, YouTube's a really great business for me. Um, I'm doing really well right now and I figured while I can, I might as well accomplish other dreams that I have. So the boutique is one and then hopefully one day I can do the dog line, but it is so hard to get resources for that. So hard. So I'm going to go in with Tarte Shape Tape and Light Medium and then I'm going to go real quick on my Twitter because I asked you guys on Twitter to ask me your questions and I got quite a bit so we'll just go on there. When do you and Davis plan on starting a family? I get this question so much. Um, not anytime soon, probably like the next 
two years, I would say. I mean, if it was up to Davis, we would have kids now, but I don't want a kid right now just because I'm just very motivated with these new businesses and I really just want to like plant my feet before, you know, I have any kids. Once I get everything kind of organized and ready to go, then we will, but probably in the next like year or two. Would you ever design shirts that said Casey Holmes made me buy it or other designs specifically about your channel? Um, I would love to have like merch items like that. Maybe one day. Let me know if you guys want to see that down below. I would definitely include it like on the boutique. I would just have to figure out a resource to make those shirts. What's your favorite adult beverage and what your top three favorite lip colors? Um, favorite adult beverage right now is, let me find the picture. I showed you guys on Snapchat. I love this beer. I believe they make this beer here in New York and it is amazing. I had it at a place called Spokes here in uh, Watertown. I took a picture of it because I was like, I have to buy some of these and Davis ended up buying me a six pack while I was gone. It's called Blueberry Ale and it's by Blue Point. So that's what it looks like. Can you see that? It's really dark, <laughs> but it's so good. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm a beer girl. I, even though it's like got so many calories and carbs, it's such a freaking I don't know man I love beer but another thing that I really like is sparkling what's it called I showed it on snapchat too so if you ever want to know what alcohol drinks I'm liking normally I show them on snapchat a lot but there's some sort of sparkling alcohol beverage I forget what it's called I'll put it um, probably in the description box below if I can remember but it is pretty good it kind of just tastes like water and it has alcohol and it's super low carb and low calorie and that's really good too if you just want something to kind of get you feeling good low carb that's the way to go so the lip color I really like right now is actually downstairs because I took it out with me last night but it is called cowboy and it's from the L'Oreal liquid lipstick line so good I love it if you're wondering where my case is from it's from an Etsy account you guys went crazy over this and I totally get it because I went crazy over it how cute found this Etsy account randomly and I was like oh my god I have to have a case from her I ended up ordering one which I will leave it down below he didn't know I was gonna mention her because I literally was just strolling through Etsy and I loved it um, and I posted on snapchat and she sent me an email she was like oh my gosh thank you so much for mentioning me on your snapchat she was super grateful said she had to move her processing days from like one to three days to two to three weeks i love things like that you know where i just mention something to you guys and you all go and support another business owner i just think that's amazing so thank you for doing that i mean i don't get any discounts or anything from it i don't expect any discounts if i get a product that i really love like whether it's lifestyle beauty whatever I feel like it's just so important to mention it and I just think it's important to also not expect anything out of it like I don't expect anything from it I mean she offered me like free cases for forever but I'm not gonna use her for that you know what I'm saying so I think it's just really important when you find something you love to spread the word about it and help support others how did you train your hair not to get so greasy mine is so gross after two days it's definitely just about really not washing it like even if your hair is greasy after two days you just kind of need to let it do its thing put it up in a bun leave it there put some dry shampoo in there as much as you can it is a process I mean it took me like I would say a f like six months or so to really train my hair to not get so greasy I do notice it gets really 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 oily whenever I wash my hair more like if I need to wash my hair for an event or something and I just washed it it gets so oily I just really try to make sure I don't wash it very often dry shampoo helps so much I love this Batiste one this is like my all-time favorite by the way I'm using this Smashbox contour palette the Batiste one's one of my favorites I've never found anything to top it to be honest with you someone also asked do I wash my hair on days that I work out no I do not I just load it up with dry shampoo unless like Davis and I go for a run and it's super greasy then I will like if I sweat a lot but normally I can get away with just doing a lot of dry shampoo what tips do you have about wedding planning what have you found to be the most helpful I'll be honest with you guys I didn't want to plan the wedding I wanted someone to do it for me just because I knew I wouldn't have time to plan a wedding if I did it myself we wouldn't have a wedding until like three years from now um, having a planner really helped even if you could have like friends and family to really really help you with everything I think that's the best way to go I wouldn't take it all on yourself it's just too much it really is like even now that we're getting super close I'm getting so many you know text messages and emails about things and I'm like oh stop it stop it 
<laughs> so just make sure you have someone there to help you. I think that's the biggest tip. Don't try to plan it on your own. So when asked, will Davis wear his uniform to the wedding? And yes, he will. How big is your wedding party and guest list? So our bridal party is four bridesmaids, four groomsmen, and then we have, I think, 183 or 185 guests completed, like finalized. Someone asked, Alabama meetup, any jewelry pieces in rosy days? So I'm not having any meetups anytime soon. The only like meetup that I'm having is my rosy days um, launch party that we're having this Saturday because I'll be there like socializing, wanted to see you guys, meet you, you know, tell you thank you for coming. But I will have jewelry at some point for rosy days. I just have to find what I love. You know what I mean? Like I'm super picky to what comes on the store and I want it to make sense. And right now I haven't found any jewelry pieces that just make sense for the store. I definitely plan on having some though because I like jewelry. It's just I got to find the right item. You know what I mean? So funny because I ordered all this stuff for the boutique before I announced it. And I for sure thought like when I announced it, I would feel so comfortable with how many items that I had. But then when we announced it, you guys gave an overwhelming response to all the products which I am so grateful for um, especially like the little graphic tees I didn't know if people were gonna love graphic tees because I feel like they're hit and miss sometimes like you got to find the right ones but you guys went crazy over like my mom life tees uh, some of y'all thought I was pregnant and I was like no I'm just modeling this <laughs> it's so cute and so comfortable and I had to buy more of that but I still feel like I don't have enough so I'm a little nervous but we have quite a bit so I'm hoping we'll be good, but it's so funny because I'm like, I for sure thought I was set and then I had plenty of stuff, but now I'm like, oh gosh. Someone asked, what are you going to be for Halloween? Honestly, I haven't had time to think about Halloween. I don't think I'm dressing up for Halloween, to be honest with you. So probably nothing this year. What are you most looking forward to for your wedding? So for the wedding, like before everyone goes into the reception, they're going to give us some time, like probably 10, 15 minutes to, uh, go into the reception and like see everything. I think I'm most excited to see everything come together that we've been working on. So I think that moment when Davis and I get to go into the reception and just go, oh my gosh, here it is. Like this is it. I think that's what I'm most excited for. Cause that's gonna be the biggest bang. Like where we're having it, the outside is beautiful enough. You don't have to do much to it at all. It's the reception. I mean, the reception is beautiful as well, but it's the reception where you know, you really get to kind of make it your own. And I feel like, like meeting with our florist and everything. Oh, it's going to be so pretty. I can't wait for you guys to see it. I cannot, cannot wait. Someone asked if I've ever considered uh, interior design. And I would love to do that. But honestly, I'll, I'll be completely honest with you. I am not talented enough to be an interior designer. It's just not my forte. Like if I looked at a blank house, like yes, I could figure it out, but I, I feel like there's other people who do a really great job at it and I'm just, I'm not that person. I definitely feel like I can, you know, decorate my own house, but I follow so many people on Instagram. By the way, I'm using the spotlight palette to highlight. I follow like the well-dressed house, that on Instagram, it's my goals. They are my goals. They have the best house stuff. And uh, I follow a few other people. I can't remember their names off the top of my head. I mean, that's where I get a lot of inspo from. And sometimes I'm just like, oh, one day my house will look like that. <laughs> I hope. Any advice on someone who wants to start a business themselves, whether it's online, an online store or just in general, any tips? My biggest tip is just to do it. Just do it. I mean, there's, it's like Nike. <laughs> But really though, like I sat there for so long and was like, oh, I would love to have my own boutique. Oh, I would love to have this, this, this. And then finally I was like, you know what? Screw it, I'm gonna do it. Like I'm so tired of saying, oh, maybe I'll do it one day whenever I have time. Like even before we moved, I knew I wanted to start a boutique. And I was thinking, I was like, okay, if it snows up here and I have a warehouse, how am I gonna get to the warehouse? What's the clothing gonna be like? Will shipping be delayed because of snow if it gets really bad? Like I even thought about stuff like that. And then I was finally like, you know what? I can do this. I'm just gonna do it in Georgia. Mainly too for tax purposes because I did not want my business here in New York for tax reasons. If you have a dream and you wanna do something, find a way to do it. Start out small. Figure out ways to make it happen. I mean, you can only tell yourself something so much and if you just let it go, you're always gonna regret not executing that dream that you have. So. Also, before you hire people to help you, you know, see if there's people around you that know things. Try to have meetings with people who do the same thing as you. To me, I kind of feel like some people get either, I 
feel like threatens the wrong word, but I feel like they get a little defensive when someone wants to start the same business as them, but have their own kind of style and stuff. And I find that crazy because this, this world is so big and there's so many people in this world that I feel like there's enough room for everyone. That's kind of like the same with YouTube videos. Like who doesn't do YouTube right now? You know what I mean? As long as someone's willing to help you, like try to have meetings with people and see what they recommend, get some tips and you know, just try to have some resources, do a ton of research. That's what I did. I, w I did so much research on boutiques before I even started mine. I had a lot of legal help. No matter how small your business is, I feel like legal is so important. Like have a lawyer, look some stuff over, let you know what you need to change, what do you need to do, and you should be good. I mean, it's all about getting up and doing it. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you how my kind of thought process worked with business and like being successful. So when I first became like single and business started really taking off with YouTube, I did whatever I wanted to do with my money. I saved, yes, like for the house that I had or that I have, I saved and did all that, but I also enjoyed myself. I spent money on nice purses, nice shoes, and all this other kinds of stuff like without a care in the world because I didn't have a plan and I didn't have things that I wanted to do. But as I've gotten older and as I've like decided, okay, I need I need to really think about it and you know have a game plan for things, it all kind of changed. I put together in my mind like this list of things that I wanted to do and finally I've just been able to execute it. I'm so happy that I bought a house because if I didn't buy a house when I did, I feel like I still would have been in that like spending mode type of thing and like just, I mean, you can enjoy yourself. There's nothing wrong with enjoying yourself. If you have the ability to do something and you have the ability to spend money on things, do it. I'm so happy I bought the house because my mindset completely changed. I mean, don't get me wrong. I still buy nice things every now and then, but even now, like my mindset isn't, oh, I want that new Chanel bag that just came out. I need this shoe. I need this new thing. Now my mindset is on, okay, this top is really cute for the business. I want to get that. Okay. So I need to get storage units. I need to get this. And now my money goes towards like, what can I do to expand what can I do to make this business better this was a very long rant this was a very long rant but I just kind of wanted to tell you guys like it's okay to enjoy yourself it's okay to spend that money but just think about the future as well like what do you want to do it's all about having a game plan because some things aren't gonna last forever YouTube's not gonna last forever for me I really hope all of that made sense because I feel like there was a question that I should have answered and I felt like I answered it but then I went on a tangent also I just used the makeup revolution brow pomade I'm back to this because I feel like pomades are just easier for me. We just work together better. I'm gonna go into the Tartlet Toasted Palette. Everybody's been talking about this. Um, I'm not gonna do too much. I'm just gonna kinda go in with different colors. First one I'm gonna take is S'more, and I'm just gonna put this all over my lid just to set the concealer that we put on. I would never normally prime with concealer, but since we're doing such like lighter basic shadows today I just went ahead and did it because it doesn't really matter if it creases or not. I have my ring back. I had to get it resized to fit my bands for our ceremony. And people were like, where's her ring? I was wearing my Quelo ring, which I love. I wear that whenever I work out. But I was like, it's just getting resized, it's okay. It's just funny. I feel like people wanna assume the worst first and then, and then they'll be okay. But everything's good over here. Uh, also, if you're wondering about the top I'm wearing, this is also gonna be at my store. It like, has tighter ends and like really cute slits at the top. I love this, it's like a peachy color. This will be on rosydays.com, which also, I didn't even tell you guys, but we do have a Snapchat, we have a Facebook, and an Instagram, so if you want to check out our social, it'll be down below in the description box. Someone else asked if we're going to have a wedding video, and yes, we will. Um, I will definitely have a wedding video for you guys because I think it's important to include you in the process. I mean, you guys have seen my life unfold and I definitely hired a really good videographer that I am so excited about. I love wedding videos. They're like my favorite pastime on Facebook. <laughs> I feel like I see so many wedding videos on Facebook. It's not even funny, but I love it. I love watching them. Like, this has quite a bit of fallout. This shadow, this candle shadow has like a, a lot of fallout actually. It's pretty, but have you guys tried this palette? Let me know what you think. I mean, it's pretty, but I'm not going to use falsies. I'm just going to put on some mascara, so I need to curl my lashes. When I was in Georgia, I forgot to bring my eyelash curler, and oh 
my gosh, let me tell you. Biggest difference not having an eyelash curler. It is awful. I'm going to use this Volume Stylist 18 Hour Lash Extensions Mascara. This is a really great mascara. It's very volumizing black. One of my favorites. It's only a few dollars. Someone said, you said you want to change your hair, but not until after the wedding. What color are you thinking? I liked the dark red violet. Let me know if you guys have been here since the Lush Cherry days. I used to dye my own hair and Lush Cherry was the color I always used. And I used to get it at Sally's. And it was such a pretty color, I have to say. I do love that color, but I don't think I'll go that dark again. If anything, I think I'll go more brunette with like warm um, highlights or something. I just don't, I don't know. Because even when I went and got my hair done last week, I love that I went a little bit blonder. It's just one of my, I don't know, I really like the blonde. And to get back to this blonde, if we were to dye it darker, would be so hard. I mean, this was a process as it is, you know? I'm just going to go ahead and use one of these L'Oreal Infallible Lippies. I'm actually going to use the shade Shakedown. I feel like it would look good with this look. And then I'm just going to apply a lip liner. This is just, I just grabbed the most random lip liners half the time. They don't even match. But this is the shade Earth from BH Cosmetics. And then again, I'm going to take the shade Shake Down. Ooh, it's pretty. It's pretty. I kind of feel like it doesn't go with the eyeshadow, but you can just roll with it, right? I really need to wash my hair, so like the, the fact that I'm not, I'm not going to curl it because I'm going to have to wash it tomorrow anyways. I wish I was one of those people that could like get away with like super sleek, straight hair, like and tucked behind their ears a little bit, but I just can't do that look. So that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this really simple look and enjoy kind of just chit-chatting, listening to me ramble for forever. <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video.